Oh, hi. I work in traveling sales, and I've got wares I just know you'll love. Do you now? I have not seen her before, so we'll see. It's nice to meet you. I'm Suzanne. My colleague Rainer told me all about you. Goodness, your farm's as big and lovely as he said. I'm sure it turns a handsome profit for you. Well, you know what they say about me. I've got huge tracts of land. Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. So, I've got a couple items I think would be a great fit for you. Care to take a look? Sure. I have one in particular I think is just perfect for you. Here we go. It's a Black Doctor's Uni, and right now I have one available for sale. It'll cost you only... Your firstborn. 10,000 G. Whoa, this price is so good, even I want to buy it. Well, I don't know if I can afford it. I only have four million dollars. Hmm. Yeah, but... Really? You will? Woohoo! I knew I liked you. Here you go. Thank you for your generous patronage. When I have more items I know you'd like, I'll stop by again. I am the Bruce Wayne of Farmers. Hmm. Well, that worked out. I got a pattern or something from her, so that's cool. Hey guys, so it's New Year's Eve today, and we're about to participate in the New Year's Festival. I didn't bother showing the Harvest Festival because we've seen it so many times and it's getting a little boring. So I didn't show it. I entered cotton and the first time I lost, it was five star cotton the first time I lost because I was up against Giorgio and Fritz and Giorgio won. So I reloaded my save because screw Giorgio. And then I was placed with a whole bunch of random people that were not in the town at all. So obviously I won. Normally I don't really like to kind of cheat quote unquote that way, but the thing is, it was five star cotton, like it should have won, you know what I mean? And I don't think it's fair the way that the festivals generate people randomly like that, like you're a competition randomly, I think that's stupid. So plus I can't really afford to lose these festivals. Um, I mean, it's one thing if it's, you know, one of the animal festivals and my animals don't like me or whatever, like, that's fine. But when I have something that's five star, I feel like, you know, it should, it should win. And I really need the, you know, the brand to go up and all that stuff, so. Now my cotton brand is up. So that's good. But yeah, that's pretty much all you missed. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming out tonight as the year winds down its last few hours. As we do every year, we will now begin our New Year's festivities to ring in the new year. This year, we once again have a wonderful present for all of you. In Sakura Country, it's traditional to greet the new year with a warm bowl of buckwheat noodles, which is supposed to symbolize long life. As a sign of goodwill, the Sakura Country merchant has given us a special gift of buckwheat noodles for tonight's festivities. We only have a few more hours left in this year, so let us all enjoy this most generous gift. Okay, Veronica. Ooh, so good. Man, getting to eat these awesome noodles every year makes me look forward to New Year's Eve. We're so lucky. Mm, interesting. You might not fully understand why this has such an exquisite flavor, but it sure is great, isn't it? The broth, the noodles, everything is perfect. Just what you'd expect when they're made at the source. I've got to practice more to hit that level. Hard to believe this year will be over soon. We've made it we've made it through a lot so far, but we ought to give next year our best too. Aye. We just getting started, so let's have fun with our work and work hard at our leisure, I say. Let's give this go around our best again. I hear you! These noodles are really good, by the way. Yep, Sakura Country's got a knack for making noodles. They've got a nice, rich flavor, but a clean taste. Are we really just gonna talk about how noodles taste for five minutes? Good timing. I was kind of craving a snack, actually. Sampling a dish enjoyed by the common folk isn't so bad every now and then. It has a warm, comforting quality about it. 
Yeah, I'm definitely feeling warmer now. The real question is, can we grab seconds? Nadi, don't talk to her. All right, everyone, did you enjoy the buckwheat noodles? The final minutes of the year are upon us. Are you all ready to count down to the new year? Sure. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Well, that was fun. Happy New Year, everyone. May the year to come bring even greater happiness and prosperity to us all. Let's have another great year. Let's actually. Oh, this is very weird that uh, we're already wrapping up year two. Kind of insane. Well, guys, we made it to year three. It is kind of crazy. Um, really hoping that we can unlock some of the new countries here soon. Because we need to do that. Yes, everyone has new items, which is exciting. Okay, so the theme for the new fashion show is stylish black outfits for spring and summer. So I need to get on that. And we need to hit all the shops. So. We'll be doing that because I definitely want to show any new items that are going to be sold. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I got a mango from Desi because I gave her like 50 gifts. So I planted this in my summer greenhouse. And soon I will have mangoes. Otherwise, you have to wait for a tropical country. That's the only time that you can buy a mango sapling. So basically, I just took the mango, put it in the seed maker, and then planted it so that I can have more mangoes. So. Yep, if you give Desi 50 gifts, she'll give you a mango. And if you give her 75 gifts, she'll give you cacao. Which is also something that you can't get unless you... Uh, unless you buy it from Tropical Country, which is the most difficult country to unlock in the game. Um, or, if you're lucky like me, somebody will give you <laughs> cacao in a trade. So that is how I have cacao early, basically. But I should be getting one from Desi in a little bit. Alright, so let's see what Silk Country and Rose Country have to sell that is new. What do they got? Well, nothing new here. But they do have some new recipes, apparently. One new recipe, so I'll buy that. Trying to stay on top of the recipes and the blueprints. I have all of them that they any of the traders that I have, uh, anything that they have offered, I bought all of them, so. That's pretty exciting. Alright, let's see if they have any new animals. <gasps> they do! We can finally buy the gray rabbit. I don't have enough space in my coop. Can you only do two rabbits per coop? Is that how that works? Because that's butt. That's how that works. Like, if I get rid of one of my chickens, can I have another rabbit? Because I would do it. Hmm. Alright, I gotta figure that out before I, before I buy another bunny. Because if I can get rid of one of my chickens and then have a gray bunny, I would probably do that because I have three regular chickens and a silky. So I don't really need three chickens. Alright, let's see if they have anything. Nope. No new items. That balloon is a scam. Never buy it. Okay. Uh, what do you got for recipes? Well, you got a couple things. Buy all those. 
Genovese pasta? I don't know what that is. Oh, we can finally make cannolis. Okay, let's see if they have any animals. Any new animals. Nope. You disappoint me, Rose Country. I'm excited about the rabbit, though, because I need the, um, the gray fur for something. At least I... I swear I did, didn't I? I feel like I did. Okay, so I do have enough money to buy the two-story house. I actually have much more than that. I have six million gold right now. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna wait because some people have said that you can't get married until you have the two-story house. And other people are saying that's not true. You only need to build the house, like you can build it after you get married. And supposedly the house only has to do with your kids. Like if you don't have the two-story house, you won't have kids as fast. So you need to have the house first. But I wanna do an experiment and see if I can get married without having that house. Like supposedly it won't even let you give the, um, I think it's the blue feather in this game, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's still the blue feather. But supposedly you can't even give that to your partner if you don't have the two-story house. At least that's what some people are saying, and other people are saying it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna test it so that we can know once and for all what the truth is. Um, so that's why I've been putting off uh, buying that blueprint and making it, just so you guys know. Um, cause I can definitely afford it, I just, I just wanna check and see, and then if it's possible to get married without, you know, buying that, then I'll just buy it afterwards and make it afterwards, so it's not a big deal. Okay, let's see what Mistle has for sale. Anything new here? No? Blueprint, though. Oh, an alarm clock, okay. Well, whatever, I'll buy it. I'm trying to get all of them. <laughs> Oh, a dashing prince uniform. Well, hot dog. That's exactly what I've been waiting for. Uh, we'll, so we'll get, we'll get all of these. The hat set, the accessory set. Yeah, we'll get all those. All right, I'm good. See ya. <laughs> see ya, child. Okay, so we're gonna see what we could possibly make for the fashion festival. Um, it's black. That's the, that's the theme. Black spring summer clothes. Um, well, here's a black and green girls jumpsuit. That is a possibility. Okay. Um, Kung Fu farmer. I have so many blueprints and patterns and stuff. <laughs> that cracks me up. Dashing prince uniform. Black poncho. I don't know if that would be considered funky jeans. Th they really should show you what it looks like. You know? They really should. Because it's kind of annoying to try to picture what it is and then I have to go look it up on the internet and it's annoying. Um. Oh yeah, that black doctor's uniform. Hmm. Oh my gosh, top hat. We have to do it. We have to do it. It needs to happen. <laughs> uh, a mini hat? What's a mini hat? That sounds cute. I feel like it's like one of those teeny tiny top hats that you wear to the side that I think are really, really cute. Black cowboy hat. Oh, white cat headband. When did I get this stuff? Hmm. I want to wear cat ears. I'd walk around with cat ears. <laughs> uh. I don't know if I could wear that and my, and my eye patch though. I don't know if it would let me. Probably not. That's a darn shame. I don't know. Maybe it would. But. All right, so I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna end up making for the spring fashion festival thingy. Um, I'm gonna have to kind of look through those options and try to figure out what the best one is then, but uh, 
But yeah, that's coming up. And I'm going to try to show you all the new stuff that's available in spring year three. So uh, just look for that. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.